hello and welcome to the Family Camping Europe YouTube channel. This week we are staying at Castel Camping Le Garangeois and you may have remembered our blog post where we stayed here before. Um, it wasn't like what we expected, everyone says it's a really good campsite and we weren't actually that keen on it but now we have children and we thought we would try it again and see what we thought this time. We paid around about £30 a night which is incredible value when you think you can't even get a hotel room for like 100 quid and there's way more to do on a campsite than there is in a hotel room anyway we are about to go and check in What was your check-in like, Mike? It was alright because we've stayed before, so all the details were on the system. Oh, were they? And that one. These wristbands, we can use them to pay for everything because it is a cashless campsite. So yeah, we can pay with our wrists. We top them up and pay. Look at these. It's like a bag of caterpillars. You see it? It keeps blowing because it's moving. And then it's just caterpillar after caterpillar. So one of the reasons we chose this campsite is because there is so much grass and so much greenery and it's very natural. There's nature trails, there's four lakes, there's a lagoon pool which is all naturally filtered and it's really good campsite for nature purposes the birds tweeting really loud in the morning there's bunny rabbits jumping around there's horses. it's just a very very nice campsite for nature as well as nature it's also very good for its activities even in low season which you're in now there's not many people here um, but yeah they still have the animation schedule on so last night we did it was like a disco and some games um, here at the bar and they did face painting and then today we have signed ourselves up for the crepe making so at lunchtime they give us like half a litre I think it is of crepe batter or pancake batter we get to make our own pancakes um, in summer I think it's more like a party and there's a lot more people involved but as it's low season it's probably just us doing it today and then this evening we've signed up for the cheese and wine so we're paying uh, 20 euros and 10 euros so 30 euros total I think we get five and three cheeses maybe and then like four glasses of wine um, yeah I'll explain it all a bit later the camping pictures are huge some of them have private sanitary facilities again it's very green and grassy all the emplacements are are lovely actually and uh, if we're going to tent camp I would 100% recommend doing it here because the space is just incredible. I'm very very impressed with the tent pitches.
three crepes on at the moment. There's our jug of crepe juice. And over here are our toppings. Can you tell me what everything is, Hattie? Um, lemon. Lemon. What else have we got? Um, sugar. Yeah. And coffee. Coffee. Coffee and coffee? Yeah. I think one is chocolate and one is caramel. Can I have chocolate? On your pancake? Yeah. yeah, you can have some chocolate on your pancake, if that's what you like. Yeah. Yeah, Daddy's only made three, but there's four of us, isn't there? Yeah. Silly Daddy. Daddy's going to miss out. <sighs> It's a cool table though. Indeed. So it's a social table with the gas in the middle. A gas keeping ring. It's keeping us very warm because we're in the shade now, so the sun's not keeping us warm. Lottie and Hattie are ready for their pancakes, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, are you ready for pancakes? Yeah. And I'm ready. You want a pancake? Do you want a pancake? Yeah. You both want pancakes? Way one pancake. Should we let it cool down and then we can put some chocolate on it for Hattie? Do you like it? Lottie likes it. Hattie, you gonna try yours? Is it ready? Yeah. You tried it? Yeah. You can fold it in half if you want to eat it like a bit of a sandwich. Oh, nope, no fold. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. Lemon. Lottie Lemon in your lemon trousers. Eating your lemon lemon. <laughs> Push it, push it, push it, push it. Push the brake, Hattie. Push it, push it, push it, push it. <laughs> I have no idea how some people uh, get ready on time and get things done because we are 10 minutes late for our wine and cheese. 10 minutes late for wine and cheese. I know, but we still need to get there. We had a barbecue. We had barbecue. Four people had a shower and got changed. So let's go. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go. Okay, yeah. Come on, Mike, tell me what's what and what uh, you're going to pair it with. <laughs> what's up? Goat's cheese. Michael's yep, what Michael's do we pair the goat's yeah. cheese with? Uh, something sweet. Wine. No. Oh, dry white wine. Dry white wine. Okay, we're what's next? A wine um, that's more of like a porcelain. Yeah. Is that? It was right, but I can't remember what it was called. Oh. With red. Yeah. And then, right, I will some come. of the others. Yeah. And then come, uh, when the with wine is here, I'll wine go back. There was a cider, yeah. And then another sweet white wine for the other. I can't remember what. what um, it's a soft juice. So, what? That's camembert, eh? Yeah. That one was. What was that one? Um, that was camembert, I think. Oh, was that one camembert? Yeah, that's camembert. So that one was. Um, I can't remember. Something like. The Vendée one? Or the. The, the, that's the, no, the Loire. Oh, that's the Loire one. Right, we're terrible. <laughs> Let's talk about what we know. Chorizo, beetroot, <laughs> ham. <laughs> what do you need? And then bread. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think of cheese and wine night? I thought the cheese and wine night was lovely. There was lots of different cheese options, lots of different... <laughs> this is Mike's lights. Uh, disc, disco lights, the camp's light. Saw the lights when I was in, they've got different modes on. Press the button, make the light switch 
or be static or jump. There we go. There's Brie. What are you drinking, Brie? I am drinking a lemoncello and lemonade, which tastes just like Santa Lemon. That is a very dangerous drink to have. Whilst the campsite has lots of activities and facilities, today we are off site to go to a place called Le Grand Defi uh, and it's a climbing place but it also does like paintball and escape games and lots of other things as well so we're going to go explore that now. Daddy's not getting to do it because she doesn't need help. Daddy was jealous because Mummy did it the other week. That's it, that's it. After our busy morning, we decided to take the opportunity to spend a calm and quiet afternoon exploring the campsite. As you've already seen, the reception and lounge bar area is absolutely beautiful. It's covered in colourful roses, other flowers and lots and lots of greenery. But the beauty doesn't stop there. Just along from the main reception is the campsite shop and takeaway. Situated in a small courtyard, the takeaway area hosts even more luscious greenery, stone walls and of course a range of tasty food options including burgers, fried chicken, fish and chips plus lots lots more. 
Next door to the takeaway is the supermarket where you'll find a range of souvenirs, toys and convenient food goods. Absolutely not. You can also pre-order your baguettes and pastries for the next morning. We really enjoyed the brioche and the pan of chocolates from here. Come on. Next is the campsite games room and it's one of about five Wi-Fi spaces across the campsite. The other areas are the bar, takeaway courtyard and play area. The arcade boasts a small range of indoor games including air hockey, table football, pool and pinball. Once you exit the arcade, if you carry on down the path you will find a fun mini golf area for which you can borrow equipment from the lounge bar. The campsite also regularly organises mini golf tournaments so you can play against other customers. And after the mini golf is where you'll find the Eurocamp Kids Clubs and La Garangeoise extensive park area. The park here is one of our favourites because there are lots and lots of different sections for different age groups spread across a lovely green field. There are swings for bigger kids and babies as well as slides, climbing frames, trampolines, multi-sports courts, football pitches and even a giant sand mountain. For the adults there's a bodyweight gym and then for teenagers there's a funky new swing seat picnic hangout area. I don't really know what to call it. And of course it wouldn't be France without some ping pong tables. After a trip to the park, of course, it's time for some coffee. The first bar I'm going to take you to is the lounge bar. This bar is really sleek and becomes adult only in the evenings. This is also where I found games, books and hireable equipment. I also found the coffee pretty decent too. The second bar, which is the main bar area, has two outdoor seating areas. The first being the poolside where you can sit around and watch swimmers, get some ice cream and enjoy the sun. And then there's a second area which we 100% preferred, the lawn. We loved sitting out here as it was perfect for the kids to play on. Lottie could crawl on the grass, Hattie could play on the bouncy castle and it was really perfect for young children. The inside of the bar is a little boring, but I mean, it's a functional bar. and It's also where you'll find the restaurant. And with regards to the restaurant, we actually ate back here in 2019. And although the restaurant inside lacked atmosphere when we stayed in early June, we actually had a really good meal. So for that reason, I would recommend it. I think in high season, the atmosphere would be a lot better. And you can also sit outside in another beautiful courtyard terrace. Whilst we're at the pool bar, I guess I should introduce you to the pool. So there are five different pool areas to enjoy. Five different pools. So you've got this uh, landing pool for the slides. So there's three slides in there. There's Hattie having a little water choke. Had to go out the steps, please. Steps. No, it's steps. I think you should go to the steps. And it's a very cold day today, but the pools are heated to 26 degrees, so we can use them. Landing slide. Then we've got a toddler slide, or a toddler pool with a little slide. A fun-ish pool, just another random pool. Over in the back corner is a lane pool, and out of, out of camera, out of uh, view, is a little toddler slide pool over in the back there. And here's back to Hattie. Hot or cold? He's going down the lane slide. Other facilities on the campsite include the free-to-use pedalos. 
All they need is a deposit and you can even borrow life jackets from the campsite. There's also two tennis courts with the opportunity for lessons in high season, pedal karting, which is suitable for children over the age of three. There's nature walks, pony rides, groups activity and passive. lessons. And really, there is so, so, so much more on this campsite. With regards to camping specific amenities, here's a little look at one of the four sanitary blocks. I don't know, baby. Really. Shower. Where's oh, the shower? There it is. Let's get out of here. What's in the next bit? A family bathroom. Baby bath, hair dryer, baby bath. and a shower. Baby Where's the baby bath? This big sink is a baby bath. Yeah. Kids toilet. Well, the next, the next so, well, that's another family bathroom. Another one, and then should we walk around this corner? These are the toilets. Oh. Toilets. They're the big girls. Yeah, well, you could still use it though, can't you? And then, bigger one. Is that a bigger one? And a sink there. As you walk around the other side. So there's a urinal. And then come around the other side. So let's walk this way. Let's go this way. <gasps> wow, how to come have a look at this? What is it? Go right to the end. Wow, we got a changing mat, bath toys, a little seat. This is cool. Yeah. Mummy, we have to keep careful. Yeah. Mummy, look. And a little Hattie size sink. I do need the toilet here. You do need the toilet. <laughs> I don't think you do, but if you do need one on the way back, then we can. Yeah. More showers. You don't drink the tap. More showers. Come on, monkey, let's go. Yeah, we've got a play park over here. I don't know, I thought you would have caught us up. A play park here. And then it's just opposite the washing up area. So your kids can play on the washing up. Um, kids can play on the park while the mummy and daddies do the washing up. Washing up, washing up, washing up. Oh, you okay? Yeah. And then over there is the men's shower rooms. Big, busy toilet block. Daddy. Now we need to find daddy. Not got ducks. Oh, it's quite nice. Maybe we should have found our somewhere here. Yeah, but I don't think you should go on this bit.
I'm so glad we chose this campsite to go to because when I stayed here in 2019, I didn't really like it that much because there was a huge storm. It ruined our experience completely. We were stuck in the mobile home. It wasn't that good. I didn't rate it that well just because of all the issues. But now that we've returned, as a family of four, with my dad as long side as well because my dad decided to come out for a day it's amazing it's such a great campsite it's so good for families it's so enjoyable there is so much to do even in low season it's full of nature it's green it's got massive pitches and i'm yeah so glad we booked also very glad that we oh, I'm, out of breath. I'm also very glad that we booked through euro Zots because i'd never heard of them before um, i did a search on all camps website and they popped up and I was like, oh, this is a weird company. Is it a scam? It's not a scam. We paid 30 quid a night to stay here, which is amazing. The mobile home was like the best mobile home we've stayed in. And it's, it's been great. So very happy. The couple that run the site have been here, like uh, run Euro Resorts here, have been here like six years. So really good. I think his Mike driving past me now <laughs> while I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, it's so well done, the campsite's well run, the company that we stayed with is very well run, and it's, it's been great. So, anyway, until the next time, thanks for watching. And also don't forget to read our written review, where you'll find even more information, um, and more like pros and cons and things like that. And uh, stay tuned for the next video, thanks for watching.